The star of the movie you are going to fix today is so beautiful, her husband, who was also the director and at least had something to do with the script writing, her husband decided she didn't need any story at all. Today we are going to fix Resident Evil Retribution. Resident Evil had a commercial success both uh, in the United States and outside of the United States. Within the United States it had an income at the box office of 42 million dollars and outside the United States it managed to gather 197 million dollars making a total of 230 something million dollars. Therefore it's ridiculous to think that Resident Evil wasn't a commercial success. Why would we want to fix something that is just fun? What would be the advantages of fixing that? There are many. First of all, it could have made more money within the United States and even overseas. Even if it's just, I don't know, 40 million dollars, 10 million dollars, you would rather have that money than not have it. That is the first thing. The second thing is that it would have a longer lifespan at the box office. People will want to see it more. And there is also something else. If you like the movie, you if you like the movie more, instead of just being a, an action flick that you are entertained by, if you like it more, you are willing to buy the merchandise. Even if it's just a little. You already are going to spend the budget of the movie, which was 65 million dollars. You are already going to spend that. Isn't it wise to spend that money and try to get as much out of it for the same amount of money? My reasoning is that it is so. Let's start by looking at the story of, of retribution. Where, where does it start? We have Mila, right, who has been captured by, by the Red Queen. So we have here the Red Queen, which is a computer that has generated, well, that has taken over uh, a secret umbrella base, right? Therefore she has captured, and she has also captured Mila. Alice, she, she has captured Alice. Now, the thing is that she, the Red Queen has a city, a fake city, fake city of zombies filled with zombies and creatures, right? And, and she also has, well, she has many monsters there that sh she more or less commands. And, and you have like a gazillion clones uh, armed differently with, with different, with different attributions. But uh, that by itself is it's, it's quite interesting. But that's not the story. That's not the story of, of, of the movie. The story of the movie is that Mila has to get out so that it, she can go and fight this battle somewhere else. What battle? A battle against Red Queen because the Red Queen has, has taken over Umbrella and it, it's threatening Wesker himself, you know, the, the top, the top honcho of, of Resident Evil. What is the thing? What's wrong with this? It's just a shootout fest. That's all there is. It's, it is a pretext for uh, shooting weapons, uh, killing zombies, 
and making a movie that is not interesting at all. Because there isn't much to care about those characters. You, you know the, the, only, the only interesting parts are basically when we, f when we confuse the clones with, with Mila, with Alice. I'm going to raise the name. All of the friends that she's going to meet, like a Ada and all the other, all the other mercenaries that are going, are going to the base to rescue her. We have a bunch of, of people that are here just to help Alice get out. And the story is way too simple to, to, to make it interesting. That's why you have to just fill it with accidents, for example, Remember the, the, the child that Alice finds on her way out and she's trying to save her? Mm, that's just an accident when, when she's kidnapped by the monster and it's, it's not a good story structure. You have to fill it with, with a lot of accidents and, and simple uh, basic enemies that you can defeat. It's like going through many doors. First you find, I don't know, you first you find the, 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 the zombies in Tokyo. What do you do? How do you defeat them? The, then you find the two huge monsters on the street. You defeat them. Then, then you have your daughter kidnapped. You will go and save her. You have those accidents instead of a true story. Because there is no true story, it's just a challenge. She doesn't have to find anything, she doesn't have to know anything, she just has to get out. The thing is that although this, this voyage or this trajectory is fun and entertaining, there is a simple way to fix it. And that is make this the story. Instead of making it a context, you can make it the story. Instead of Alice just trying to get out, you can make Alice defeat the Red Queen. The thing here is that if you fix it this way, Resident Evil 5 or Resident Evil Retribution would be, uh, in essence, alike to Resident Evil 1, where, where you, you meet the Red Queen. But there is no problem in using the same enemy if you are going to change the whole context of, of, the, of, the, of the meeting, of the, of the fight. There are many examples for, for that. Uh, uh, in every single occasion, James Bond fights Spectre. Everything changes. Although it's the same enemy, it's always a Spectre in the old James Bond movies. You can also say that Harry Potter, with, with always facing Voldemort, is the, same, is the same challenge structure because it's always Harry Potter against Voldemort. In this case, if you have a Red Queen that is different, a Red Queen that controls a, a whole city, a Red Queen that has monsters under her command, a Red Queen that is killing clones, you can make that the story. And defeating Red Queen and defeating her with her allies, with Ada, with, with the, the mercenaries, with all of them, with even Wesker's help, would be a far more interesting story than just trying to get out. Just trying to get out isn't interesting. Because you, you just have to see what's going to happen what challenges are going to uh, they, they face on their way out. And at least for me, it wasn't really entertaining. It wasn't really fun, it wasn't engaging. 
Therefore, I would fix it by having Alice fight the Red Queen, making it the objective of the story, rather than an accident on her way out. Because on her way out, after the zombies, after the monsters, after the kidnapping of her daughter, supposed clone daughter, she finds the Red Queen and she defeats the Red Queen. But it is an accident on her way out, instead of the problem, the central problem of the story. Well, that's the way I would fix uh, Resident Evil Retribution and that will be all for for this video and remember be entertained be entertained without turning your brain off well if you like this video tell your friends about it thanks for watching